Tasha says, here in Oregon, we have hail, <laughs> a little bit of sunshine, wind, rain. We had it all yeah, today. Had it all today. And it's not completely unheard of, even at this late date yeah. in November. Uh, our temperatures today, though, we did have a record tie, at least, and that was in Vancouver of 61 degrees. Uh, but in, you know, when you look back at historical records at PDX, we've been much warmer than this, even low 70s. Now, that would be some record breaking temperatures. We didn't get there today, but let's first talk about Doppler radar. This is a loop of the last two hours, and noticing most of the convection that we saw today came from the southwest and really started to kind of boil up right here in the valley and just at the base of the foothills, too. That moving out to the northeast, we're still seeing some activity. Let's zoom in a little bit closer here. We had some lightning strikes earlier just south of Tangent, but now that has disappeared. Now that's gone. We're really losing a lot of that energy for the most part. Well, just because the sun has gone down, that would be number one. Now, as we look out, we can see some heavier showers still moving into the foothills just past Mill City and Staten. Uh, Jefferson now seeing some light showers. Albany and Tangent still some heavy uh, showers at times. Now you look at Portland, the metro area, we're completely dry at the moment, with just a few exceptions if you're moving in closer to Cam along 14 there. Now you go a little bit further along I-5 and we're seeing some heavier showers. Kalama up through Longview, Woodland, La Center, also over to St. Helens and Klatsk and I now just beginning to get a break but saw a heavier cell over there about uh, 20 minutes ago. Vancouver, Portland, your temperatures now in the mid to low 50s. Let's go over to our downtown Skycam, Portland, and you can still see some low lying clouds just creeping up over the West Hills. So, still the possibility to see more isolated showers even this evening. And Mount Hood Meadows, we did get some rain on top of the snow at the lower elevations, but don't worry, we're going to replace that with snow as soon as we get to the end of the week. Right now, your temperature is 34 degrees, seaside 54. And some really big rainfall totals there, over two inches within the last day and a half. Now, let's look at those highs from today. We did reach a high of 61 at PDX. Didn't break any records there, but we did tie record Vancouver 61. Up and down the valley, our temperatures were well above average. So normal high being 49 degrees. So we had the low 60s all the way from Eugene on up. But it was much cooler out towards Hood River and the Dalles. Low to mid 40s, thanks to the fact of Wind direction. Wind direction plays a huge role. We had that southerly wind just streaming up through the valley pretty much all day long. Now, this is what we have for our base now as we look at our ski report. Now, we don't have any resorts open during the week, but we could see a few more opening once again as preview days as we saw last weekend happening again this weekend. And the weather this time is going to cooperate with us. But here's your base at Timberline 14 inches, 18 inches at Meadows, Ski Bowl 9 inches, 18 inches at Mount Bachelor with within the last 24 hours. Mount Bachelor has seen about six inches of snow. Now, as we look ahead to the rest of this evening and early morning hours, isolated showers are still in the picture, becoming heavier at times. We're at around 4 35, 36 o'clock in the morning, noticing out towards the coastline, Lincoln City moving to our inland valleys and across Portland. We're at about 6, 7, 8 o'clock in the morning. Here we go about 10 o'clock in the morning. Still some isolated showers left over. And now we're left with Wednesday night. Wednesday night we start to really kind of break things up, clear things out. Some snow for the highest elevations above 5,500 feet. That snow level coming down as soon as we get to Friday and Saturday. So look at that. Nice break on Thursday. But by Friday, snow level is coming down to about past levels, then down to possibly as low as 2,000 feet by the time we get to Saturday. Still looking at a little more rain. We were just talking about that. Rainfall totals could range anywhere from a half inch to possibly closer to three quarters of an inch or more. That being closer to the coastline. But Portland, right around six tenths of an inch possible from now all the way through this coming Friday. Much colder air diving into the picture here Thursday and the weekend. Look at that. Lots of cold air to deal with. That's good news, though, for our ski resorts. We want to see more of that. Daytime highs in the valley, though, this weekend only topping off in the mid 40s. Looks as though we'll have a little more sunshine next Monday. All right. Lots of folks headed to Zoo Lights, by the way, tonight. Oh, yeah. I saw that traffic. Yes. Hooded jacket is a good way to go. All right. Thanks, <laughs> Thanks Natasha. <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody.